guys, it's Gamer Aimer here. So today we're going to talk about some things that I often hear in relation to video games. All of those negative things that people say. So today we're going to talk about those stereotypes within video games. So let's go ahead, check it out. If you guys have been into gaming for any length of time, or even just around video games in general, then you may know about some of these video game stereotypes and things that you may have heard about gamers. So before we go ahead and jump into this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and hit that bell notification so that you never miss out on any updates as I'm always posting on this channel. So we'll just go ahead and jump into this. How many times have you heard that gamers are not social, they don't have any friends, they're loners, and they just sit at home and play games. How many of you guys have actually played video games by yourself, and how many have you grown up playing those couch co-op games, you've played with friends growing up, and you've even played online games? There are so many different things out there where gamers can actually come together, and I'm not just talking about, you know, online and just across the game. There's gaming conventions out there where people get to go to these big massive gaming conventions. They have them throughout the entire world. They have them in different states, different countries, different areas where people come together with a like interest and it's people of all different kinds coming to these conventions. They're playing together, they're playing games, they're just talking about games, they're buying things and it's just a great time to just bring the love of gaming together. And then I remember so many times growing up playing video games. I would bring games over my friends' houses if they had a certain console. If they didn't, I'd bring my own controllers, my own systems. We'd sit down together, we'd play so many different games. And then the families, I would play with different family members and just really connect over these different games that I would play. And then nowadays, it's even easier. You could just have the online play, you play with different people, you're chatting in the game, sometimes you're talking about the game, sometimes you're not even talking about the games. So there is just so much untruth to that, and it's just definitely advanced over time. Now another one that I've heard over time is that mobile gamers or certain people are not real gamers. So what is it out there that people think that they can and can't decide on who is a true video gamer? There isn't really such a thing. Anytime that you play any games, whether they're mobile games, whether they're PC games, whether you're playing on PlayStation, Xbox, you know, even Nintendo, whether you're playing new, old, pretty much anyone out there can be a gamer. You know, if you want to put a label on it, then you can, and if you don't, then you don't have to, but a lot of people say that there are so many fake gamers out there, or they're not real video game players, just because they play games that may be easier or simplistic, or just games that some people don't like. If you're playing Candy Crush and other things on your phone, does that make you a gamer? Does it make you any less of a gamer than someone who's playing, you know, the top games that have just came out? What about people who collect retro video games? What about us who maybe don't play the newest games when they come out, but we kind of go back and forth, or just people who only play these retro video games? Some of these are way more difficult than some of the newer games today. So how can you put that label on it of who's being a true gamer, not a true gamer, a fake gamer, not a real gamer? Who is it to actually say those things? Is it someone who is just jealous that you're enjoying yourself, you're having fun, you're playing these games for the pure enjoyment. You know, I just don't understand that term. You know, if you play video games, it shouldn't matter what you're classified as, as long as you're just having fun and you're having a blast doing it. And then one that actually really irks me. So this is something that I often heard growing up, and this is something that looking back with all of the historical you know, everything that was out there in relation to these video games when they came out, the historical advertisements and everything else, gaming was always geared towards boys. So I hate when people say that you're not a gamer if you're a female and women can't be gamers. So that is something that I often hear all the time and it's just something that 
I'm just simply tired of. So anytime that I post pictures of my gaming collection, I post these game room tours, I post all of this social media stuff, I always have people who in the comments say, that must be your husbands, your boyfriends, your brothers, you know, anyone else. That's not your real collection. Women can't collect games. Women can't play games. Now that is something that I personally kind of experienced back in the day. I would always be quick to pass over these video game items and, you know, even some people in the family. I remember waking up on, you know, certain holidays and kind of wanting a video game system, but then my brother would get that video game system. And, you know, a little part of me was a little bit upset that maybe I wasn't the first person to think to get that gaming console, even though I was the one who actually played the system more. You know, and I wanted different games for different things. So I just remember not getting an original Xbox when it first came out. I had to wait a whole nother year just because I wasn't, you know, thought to have the gaming consoles. You know, I was thought to have these different Barbies, these different dolls, these other toys, you know, and I wasn't always first thought of as having these video game systems. So that is something that I personally experienced and then even looking back before, you know, my time, seeing all of these gamers and these games and everything else kind of being directed towards boys and men, just images, ads, everything else, where they were kind of, you know, shown towards males and they weren't really shown towards females. Females would always be in the background of these different ads and it just seemed like, you know, the target audience just wasn't females. But as we are growing, as we are going through, you know, this life here, and as everyone is pretty much playing video games today, it's not just honed in on just one type of person. So you can't really, you know, classify it as male gamers, you know, boy gamers. It's literally anyone and everyone, no matter what age, you know, what anything else. It's just everyone can play games and you shouldn't be, you know, stigmatized by that just because you're a female or just because you're interested in things that maybe were geared towards those boy toys so this is just something that I just wanted to kind of throw out there and then something that I often hear out there is that gamers are lazy and I mean maybe some are but you can't always just classify one particular grouping of people with something so there are tons of fitness games out there like dance dance revolution i don't know anyone that's ever played that game and has not you know huffed and puffed after it you know that is definitely a workout video game it's great for cardio i've seen people you know play that i've seen people lose weight i've done that myself over the years i always go back into playing those sports style games you know you even have the Wii system where it has the Wii Fit board. You have the Ring Fit Adventure for the Nintendo Switch. You have all of these different options out there. So not all gamers are going to be lazy. Not all gamers are going to be out of shape. You know, you may just sit there, but no one's talking about the people who work at a desk job, you know, all these hours every single day and they're not up and moving around. No one criticizes that because they're earning a living. That's what they do. You know, and there are gamers who do this for a living as well. So you can't just like take one grouping and just kind of categorize it as something like that. And then another thing that I hear is you're too old to play video games. Well, isn't there a rating system on these games? Aren't some of these games for a mature audience? And some of these games, you know, you kind of have to play as you get older. I haven't seen like little, little kids mastering some of these games. You know, some of this stuff, definitely you have to know how to read. You have to do these tasks. You have to have different skills. You learn so much playing these games. It's for the pure enjoyment. You know, you just kind of play as like a social aspect as well. Not everyone plays these games and like these kid style games. They have a variety. There's so many different, you know, real life based games. There's just so many different categories out there. And anyone, if you look on social media, you'll see that there's even you know, an older audience as well who just love playing video games. Anyone and everyone could play video games. So these are just some of the stereotypes that I've heard over time. Some of these I just kind of wanted to throw out there because I believe that everyone is a gamer. Everyone has it in them if they play any sort of game. There shouldn't be this whole entire like stigma against a certain type of people and there shouldn't be, 
you know, anyone is less off as a person. You should never think that. So I just wanted to kind of throw this at you, see what you guys think about this stuff. Are there any particular, you know, stereotypes that you've heard about video gamers, maybe even collectors, maybe even just anyone who's interested in video games? I've just seen this stuff and, you know, people are always quick to assume different things. They're quick to, you know, put you in some sort of category as the rest of people. And that's just not how it should be. How is a video game collector or a person who plays video games any different than people who like sports, who collect sports memorabilia, who, you know, dress up in those jerseys? How is that any different? If that's something that you enjoy and it's something that you're passionate about, it shouldn't even matter. So let me know what you guys think about this topic. And of course, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead and check out my other videos and stay tuned for more.